Hey YouTube, Darren here. This video is in response to a request um, about transaxles. Having said that, uh, Jamis28 uh, had asked me some questions about uh, transaxles and it was easier to do a video than it was to do a response because I just get confused talking about five five speeds and gearboxes and six speeds and everything so I'm going to tell you what little I know about the transaxles and it's going to be pretty specific it's going to be about uh, the Tecumseh peerless transaxles and uh, there's a lot of other information out there about the different transaxles but I don't know that much about them I, I can get you reference books and websites and everything but this is just about that uh, I did want to take a minute to uh, thank a couple of people who have subscribed to my channel as well and I'll show you their names. Uh, T M I K A C E V I C H. T Mikovic. I'm doing not. Uh, yeah, it's terrible. I know. Sorry. And uh, Wild Lion Man. I wanted to thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, there's a couple other people who subscribe that don't have channels yet. Uh, don't know your name. Sorry, but I did want to tell you thank you. Now on to this but first uh, T M I K A C E V I C H Wild Lion Man and uh, the video is like I said in response to Jameis 28 and thanks to all the people who subscribe that don't have channels yet this website that I have written down under it and I may put a link uh, in the website as well is www outdoordistributors.com this is a website where you can get all the parts for these transaxles uh, if you have a piece that goes out they're not cheap uh, I think a brand new transaxle that looks like this and you can check the website and the prices I want to say these are around seven hundred dollars so more to come in just a minute okay we're back this transaxle is the transaxle it was my number two transaxle in my six-wheeler this is the one that had the problems and I did the video of uh, replacing it this is actually a Tecumseh peerless five-speed transaxle and I had originally gotten this one out of a Murray long tractor okay trying to keep this from being confusing uh, by the way this is one of the first shells uh, this is a four inch pulley this was on my very first Murray Mayhem that I ever did I'll show you this I've already taken everything apart cracked it all open this is the transaxle uh, that had the hole in it and I've scavenged pieces and parts out of it this is a bull gear and we'll get to that in just a second. Those are the drive shafts. This, in reply to Jameis28, we'll count the gears. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the six-speed transaxle. Uh, this is the this is the gears. This set of gears here is what makes it go. Now, this one originally had a five speed. This one originally had one, two, three, four, five gears. The gear ratio is different. The first gear is geared a lot lower on this six speed than on the five speed. I had the five speed on the other one so I had to take it off to uh, had to make everything mesh up so I took it out and swapped the guts out. These come out just like this. You can further tear them apart down this shaft and add it up uh, if you wanted to you could you know you could put um, another you could take out this gear and you could put in another gear uh, slightly larger than that and smaller than that if you had one you can do that this sets up the reverse and I'll, I'll show you why this is a little bit different than on uh, the other transaxle we're going to look at this is the one that I have the most of and I pull parts off of when I get a transaxle that's torn up or messed up I take this out and I spray it down with a nice lubricant put it in a ziplock bag and put it away 
Hold on. Just a second. Now, we'll get to the other one. This is a transaxle that came out of a Craftsman riding mower. Uh, this is a Tecumseh Peerless six speed, and again, it's just basic information. Now, on the sides of these transaxles, they're gonna have these little ID tags, and I've taken this one off. Let me see if I can get to where you can see it. And this will give you the make and the model and information and the date of the manufactured by the Julian date. So this guy was over here on the side there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom you in sideways. There we go. Let me get a light. And it's directly behind the brake. That's where you'd find it. Right there. And I put it back in there so I wouldn't lose it. There we go. Now. Let's crack the case on this guy. There. And in it, you will see uh, the guts. This chain, this chain is the reverse. This is what causes or, or, or lets you go into reverse on this guy. On this one, it's a set of gears and uh, they just go into that. This is the top and that gear right there is for your reverse and that's what causes it. Is any one better than the other? I don't I don't really know. Uh, I would say I, I prefer having the gears than the uh, chain. These chains break. A lot of times you'll buy these riding mowers that are in people's yard and they'll say, oh the transmission quit working or it doesn't go into reverse if it's a craftsman. It's a chain's broken and uh, you can buy a replacement chain from that website uh, that I told you. You may even be able to get it from Briggs & Stratton. A lot of times this is one that I bought. It quit moving in the people's yard. I think I cleaned it up, uh, tore the transmission apart, cleaned this uh, shifter bar off, and I was able to get it to where it, it works. Here are the gears. Back to this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This gear, this outer gear has 31 teeth on this transaxle. This is a different model than this one. This one has 25 teeth. And again, they're different models. Because of the differences in the models and the way they're made, these will not interchange without swapping everything over completely. If you're gonna do that, just change the whole transmission case and everything rather than doing that. But parts from this model, whether, let me stand up where you can see the pattern, uh, the mold pattern, whether it is a four speed, a five speed, or a six speed, will all interchange. as all of the gears from this model, four speed, five speed, or six speed, will interchange. Take the chunk out of this model of your four, the four speed and put it in this model and you've got a four speed. Just like this one. Now hang on, we're gonna go outside and I'll show you. Now we're out here looking at uh, the uh, ten wheeler or the Murray Gator, I should call it. And if the sun will allow it, you can look inside and see this is a five speed transaxle, and the outer cover is the exact same. It has the ribbings across the top. This one I swapped out. This was actually the six speed and I swapped out, for lack of a better word, let's call them chunks. I swapped out the chunk, the six speed chunk for the five speed chunk. And you can see again up in here, hang on I'm trying to get us in, the ribbing on this transaxle 
let's start from the top. The ribbing on this transaxle, this is the same. This was a five speed. So I wanted both of these guys to mesh up because uh, the five and the six speed uh, are geared differently. The first gear in both of them is different. So I swapped it out. Um, I may be making it still more confusing, but uh, it, it's really not as confusing as I make it. Hold on just a second. Okay, now I've got two trans axles here. I hope you can see this. This is a six speed. This is a five speed. This one came off of a Craftsman. This is a Spicer. It's a newer transaxle. This one has needle bearings in the top. This one also has needle bearings. But uh, this is a uh, peerless, Tecumseh peerless and a Spicer. Now, these chunks, this is the six speed, and this is the five speed. They will interchange. In there. 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 Okay. That is situated, I think. Goodness gracious. There. And then that is situated in there as well. So certain models, certain brands will swap out. You're just going to have to make sure that the gears mesh up okay and follow the way they turn on through the, uh, the power drive there. So, and there's also one other thing I wanted to show you and it goes into a lot more detail and it really explains it. Um, this is uh, the Tecumseh Technician's Handbook for uh, Drive Systems, Transmissions and Transaxles. I bought this off Amazon for around $20, $22 with shipping, something like that. Uh, it's really good. It goes into detail about all the different pieces and parts, uh, the names of them, what you can use, uh, and then a parts list of all of them, uh, what, what uh, numbers, replacing, what kind of lubrication they all need. You can get them from that website that was up earlier at the beginning of the video uh, for actually 12 bucks. So you can get them for a lot cheaper than I could. And that was a real big help uh, to me as far as doing everything else. Like I said, I, I hope it, I hope it helped. I uh, hope I didn't end up confusing you more. Uh, that wasn't my intention. But depending on the certain models, if it's say it's a Model 2 and it's a 4-speed, then a Model 2 6-speed you can interchange the parts. You can change the gears as your parts break. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Uh, believe it or not, this is like uh, 7, 14, 21. This is like $2,100 worth of transmission parts laying around new. Uh, I wouldn't pay that much for them. But that's it. Hope everybody's okay. Hope it didn't make you any more confused. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.